Hi everyone, Kepi here. Thought we'd do something in digital today, digital painting. So I've got my program open and again looking at surprise waves. Uh, so what I've done is, let me just get to my program. I've done the outline sketch. So that's a sketch. And basically I've got one, two, two waves. That would be the back there. And this would be the shoreline over here. And then what I did, uh, let me just get back to my program. I blocked in the color at the back, the dark blue. And I've blocked in a color for sand in the front. And, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend those colors. So I get to my blending tool and I'm just going to carefully, well, when I say carefully, as carefully as you can, and that's where we go wrong there. <laughs> so <laughs> let me just undo that. That's the nice thing about working in, in digital is that you can undo things. Uh, again, I'm just going over that line. I don't want to go over that line really well not too much like I did just now so just blending in or blending out this pastel that I've put in here and you can see by not doing too by keeping it light like this here and just quickly going across you can actually start to blend in uh, different tones into the water itself. So we've got s some dark, some light, okay, and the lines, the actual sketch that I've done, I've drawn on the top layer, so you can still see where the lines I've done for the wave. You can still see those lines that I've done for that wave. Okay. What I've done is I've drawn the top of the wave with what we call uh, the um, crest at the top, and then we've got the trough line at the bottom, and then we're going to have the face in between, and then obviously the break, which will come at the top of that wave. Not too worried about mixing the colors up here at the beach beach end. So <clears throat> that'll just blend in carefully and nicely there. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick with my with my colors. I'm going to stick within this blue and blue green range. Now this is my current blue that I have. I then have a lighter, slightly lighter blue, that are going all the way through to a greeny blue. Okay. So I'm now going to just put in. Use my pastel again. Uh, make that a tad smaller, and I'm going to pull through just something that's a little bit lighter here. Yeah? It's not going to be too, that's not going to stay there, because that's going to all blend in. And part of that wave is dark, but part of the wave will be light. And where the light shines through, we're going to have a green type color. And we want to put some light stuff up near the front here. So now I want some of that greenish color. And this can be where the sun is sticking its head through. And we'll have the sun basically coming from, from that side there. So we're going to put that in. 
Now, when you when you blend out now with with the details, we're going to be blending in a direction of flow. Now, the flow is towards us, but we will take it slightly at an angle and put it in as you see here put it in like that so you can actually do this type of thing with your wave that wave is coming in that way so that would be the direction that you're going to be using your brush. Now if you were doing this with acrylics you'd be doing exactly the same thing. There's there's no real difference between painting here and painting on canvas, excepting that this is not messy and you can erase it and go back and work with it again. So I'm going to get my blender out you'd be doing this with a brush and just blend those colors in now in the center in the front of course you go to in front of this wave you're going to want it to be dark just need to go a tad smaller And put in some darker areas at the back as well and those will be just blended out Remember, as the water is coming to the shore, so it's going to give you, it becomes, in a sense, becomes lighter. And when I say lighter, all that's happening is the wave is, well, the water is becoming shallower and the light is refracting off the floor of the ocean okay, so those, those strokes are di almost diagonal top left to bottom right and then we work in this color into a flat well, when I say flat you can also do this kind of brush stroke even with your paintbrush just to show a bit of movement and at the same time keeping some of the lighter color in between where um, you may have fun. And then I just want to add a little bit darker here and a 
touch docker there. And again, I'm using that rocking motion, motion of the ocean, and just get that color blended in. Okay, now same with this wave here. We're going to work this, I'll just make that a tad bigger. We're going to work in work in the color top left to bottom right and you can pull some of that back up into into this area so now if I take this away you're going to see that we already have shape of waves and movement in the sea and obviously now we need to add the detail uh, further detail to this so up in the front you're going to get shadow where the white water is in the front okay so we, we can add some foam in to this wave in the front don't keep it too even follow the line of the shore but keeping it horizontal although it's a line that's going to be running at angles the line essentially stays horizontal can add white to the back now if you were using a, a paintbrush we're going to do it this way it's just with the blender I can move it up and down now with a paintbrush you're going to be doing those kind of strokes to get your wave action right but obviously you're going to have a flat area in the front where you're going to have a lot of this foam so for now I'm just kind of like blocking in a white over the blue give it that misty effect see it moving forward now let's just take that layer away again and now you can see the front section here now if I go to this one and we can darken up this line and what we need is we need a touch of this in here This would be the shadow that is formed by the water that's blocking, blocking the sunlight just in front of that wave coming through. And we 
going to smooth it out just so that that shadow is indicated So, I'm just going to add a touch more of this color in the front here and blend it in where water would be coming up onto the beach. And I'm going to put the two colors together, this one just a bit lighter over the top. And now use the blender again and just get this darkened up a touch and that would be where the sand is wet. Right, now I want to go to wave at the back and we're going to add some white water to this and so I'm working on the crest and, and bringing some white water over the top Bear in mind that this is a smaller wave towards the back, still busy forming. So it's not going to be as big as the one that would be in the front. It may be bigger. Just remember that what I'm doing is here yeah, is be the same as if I was using a fan brush. I'm doing a small circular motion with this, creating that effect of the wave that is going to going to break right here. Obviously, being further back, this wave or the detail is going to be a lot smaller than the one right up in the front. So, I'd be doing the same with a with with my acrylic brush as well. Um, and again, anything coming to the front would be at an angle to bring through some 
lots of foam on the surface here as well and in the direction of flow again you can create waves by moving the brush in a flat flattish direction so I'm going to just slightly blend that out and again using a rocking motion to create that effect of movement on the surface of the water. some more in here I'll come back and use the pencil on, on this as well and we're going to just blend that in and that's still water that's coming down so it's going to be at an angle and then rocking motion out in the front you can add rocks and things to this as well if you so wish that could be possibly some rocks under there that it's breaking on that's why it's so foamy in that area you can do the same out the back to indicate waves so I'm going to use a pencil and you can indicate white water in the background and again some crisscross lines indicating movement on the ocean and where you've done those you can also go with a darker blue oops, gone past it go with a dark blue and just in front of those add in a bit of dark and that would apply to painting on canvas as well uh, putting in that dark section that goes usually goes in the trough of the wave it can be in between and in front ever so subtle on this because you, you won't see it until I really increase the size of the actual canvas but the thing is getting that idea of water that's moving okay because there aren't just waves up in the front here so And I will put in some sky as well, so that the, that white at the back is not so stark. And we can strengthen up the area behind the white as well.
And by doing that, what's happening now is that the crest of the wave is now standing out a lot better than before. So it is important to keep that black area darker than the part that's in the front. that in a touch mix it up with the white gives it the effect of a bit of spray okay so that's all I'm going to do there I'm going to have a look at a color for the sky I'm going to go relatively light on this because if I mix this with some white it's going to give me a nice cloudy effect uh, so let's blend this out first let's make it a touch bigger Take some white. Can add touch of white through there, and then using circular motion, blend it out, and it can give the effect of further clouds in the sky. very subtle clouds up in the sky and then we want to go a touch lighter on the horizon line so I'm just going to pull in some white and then again blend that in so we got a touch very light white on that horizon So let's quickly save that. Now the focus wave will be the one in the front. So we need to work a bit more on that one there. We need some more white. Yeah. And some foam some of that spray coming through right A blending brush for the for this side Go 
to. looking much better and then to the front so I'm going to work with a thickish pencil line and draw in the wave. The crashing part of the wave in any case. Okay. So if it's coming over this way and we've got water coming down this way as well. And it's breaking right up on virtually up on the shore. So, let's go. Getting that light touch for the, for the spray. have some of that blue coming through a touch Then we're going to need to darken up somewhere in the front here. Just want that to be a little bit darker and then blend it out. And what I will do is take 
think it's really dark blue and in pencil I'm going to just Highlight this edge a bit. When I say highlight, I'm just putting in that dark piece there. And then we want some white again. And I'm going to use my acrylic brush because the acrylic brush gives you something a touch different and there you can see it it's giving me depending on how heavy I use it it's giving me brush lines and just to blend it out bit of that direction again pencil and white water
it for me is a touch too light here, so I'll add this dark water in here. Let's get that dark water touch more at the back here. To the white again, go a bit smaller here. And just blend that out again. Ladies and gents, thanks for watching. This was my digital version of some waves. Uh, there's still some work to be done on this, but uh, just to give you a breakdown of what, what, uh, or how I do my waves in this is digital format, and I apply very much the same technique in um, doing my acrylic painting as well. So I hope you got some info from that as to how to use it or go forward. Uh, from me, Cappy, have a great day. Cheers.